separate them. Inferno, all too familiar. A bit of an iconic third map decider. Does Apex drop something here for Zywe? Right now, no pistol in hand, only invested into a nade. No defuse kit. There it is, the CZ-75. So three towards B on the pistol. Kadian with the P250. A little bit of utility behind it as well. And Navera <laughs> activated Hello? already. First bullet and damage. He's got some ADR. There we go. Off the mark. It's going to be a hard clear. IPK playing anti-flash. I oh, we tucked in as well. Big chunk Ow. of damage done. That really hurt, Kadian. No armor pays a heavy price. He's down spotted. Zaiwu doesn't flinch. He's trying to be baited in, but this is all just trying to keep the CT's feet planted, and it will work. It's just going to be Nivera and Masuta to be tested here on the pistol. Apex clears it, calls it clear. And here comes a smoke and a flash that very well will indicate the push. Masuta tucking in, hard shot, but he does handle one. Nivera as well, passing his test. Bombs in pit. Nivera continues to be a threat. They're coming in from short. Pit as well, down, controlling in the off angle. Oh. Actually gets them both. Okay, heroic of an advantage now, but Apex takes it from them only for a moment. Kadian trades now. Nivera put into a clutch upon his first round in this quarterfinal. 38 seconds. He knows the bomb was pit. He wants to isolate it, check short. Kadian's not present. He is still hanging around there. Nico with the jewel. And now Navira dances between them both, taking pot shots, getting whittled away. One clean headshot, three bullets. He can't pull the trigger in time. Overwhelmed by Kadian. I'll remind you, he had 28 HP. That nade did so much damage. Navira <laughs> really had a shot at that. Yeah, good crack right there. Big test Whew. for the sub. Right off the bat there. Almost oh, pulls that, it off. Just one of those, any of those could have hit. Well played by Kaden. He, he knew how to come around swinging. Mad spam right there. <laughs> nice try, bro. Nice try. That's exactly what he gets in NT. Oh, big roar. That's a war cry from Kadian. Fired up now. I wish we had some mics in the guy's bedroom. This is the force buy out. And I'm sure they era. don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently they don't come and complain in his apartment. Lives yep. in the same block as Mitha. They're used to the gaming screams. They're going for a nice flash here. It's down. Oh, he's actually gone down already. They can get, they lose two AKs. Kadian flustered. They've lost them both. Quick recovery, Borup trying to deny. Takes that, but control back with the frag. Okay, that could have got so much worse. It looks like he's throwing the other AK out. Bessis has taken it, excuse me. So casualties, not the end of the world. Still operating on full health as well, otherwise they may have some issues up against this scout. <sighs> yeah, and speaking of the scout, it's in the Nevera hands, so mid on lock. Good crossfire. Should have info, maybe even the tag. Boom, 28 HP. Oh my lord, and he's lost Borup as well. Tess is tagged. RPK staring at Nico's advance. Oh, the, oh, reload, the reload completely caught on the reload. Tessus has equalized. Flank's coming. And Navira knows he tagged up Tessus. He's trying to hit Pepper in with the USP. Does not succeed. A two on two. Crucial oh. shot. Navira's taken down Nico. That was the other player. That was a full health headshot. Navira, quite the statement, wants to find the level. Well handled by Tessus, pushed though, oh. Navira's clutched up. Two tests, and the second he passes. Huge. Great Indication. shooting. <sighs> Tense moments here. Just the back and forth nature of that. That crossfire was set up perfectly. RPK coming to take space. He's going to be feeling really good after that one. That's a shot and a half. And then being able to close that gap against an AK with just a wide sweet and USP, he's feeling frisky and they are just <laughs> as loud. There is a lot on the line here. Shocks is in the background there. Yep. Human pride, it's a beautiful thing, but it does lead us down those dark paths. Vitality and Heroic investing everything into this. Ooh, Heroic. Yet to convert a grand safe. final, yet to even get there. This is just the quarters. Heroic testing them, pushing them. It was an overtime victory. I'm Take us to Inferno. Borup ahead of the Incendiary, trying to catch pace up on mid. Down and Nico joining him. Fast util deployed. Good nade from Saiwu as he backs away. RPK's even got one. And so instead of actually choosing to contest and swing, give the Deagles the fight, they'll use their utility. RPK, look, as Zywu calls for it, RPK can dunk that HE right around the corner. Fortunately, not too spread, or not too stacked, I should say. The damage 
not going to be round ending. If another HE does get thrown out, I think RPK just lobbed it towards the apartments as paranoia sets in. And as the flashes arrive, so does the mid-round aggression. Oh, Nifira. no. Cannot complain. They all line up for the AK crossfire. And now there's a gathering of three. <laughs> They're casting a spell around that bomb. Imagine if he comes in here and just drops 30 and just obliterates heroic. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be a wild little storyline right there. Cadian needs to die. Came in super fresh and frisky. Yeah, ready to go. My eyed and Getting bushy vibes, tailed. Watching everything. Now it's my turn to contribute, he says. And he has made quite the announcement of his presence. Hi, guys. My name's Navira. I've got 200 ADR and seven frags. Just yeah. letting you know I'm here. Keep coming, Arch. Let's see how many you can get. Anyone because else? I'm sure that the tests for Navira are going to be thick. There's going to be a lot of them here. But he's looking sharp. He's looking on point. And that is a dream start from him. Involved in a pistol round clutch, not able to convert on the four spy. Getting it across the line in a round that some people consider more important than the pistols these days. Well, couldn't ask for a better start for Navira. Let's see if he can maintain it. A legacy. He's looking to set his own, despite the relationship to, of course, the former legend of the game, Scream. Gone, but not forgotten. In Certainly. another game now. Yeah. He's dealing with uh, Full Smoke XX from an iPad. Which is wizards. Dealing with the uh, crazy heroic Full Executes instead. Very reserved early from Vitality here. They haven't opted to use a, too much utility within the early stages, and this is such a quiet approach. Both teams are happy to play this slow Counter-Strike. I mean, I can't believe Heroic have still got two just waiting on T-Ramp. Is, is there a particular queue? They're just hoping to see some CT utility out of pure just frustration. Cadian's lining up something special. Is he going for a full CT? Yeah, CT smoke from Spawn. I believe that's the lineup. Where is he? There it goes. He followed through, yeah. From Spawn, CT smoke and push. Zywoo and Navira rotating as fast as they possibly can. RPK even thinking about it. Apex has only got an MP9 for this duel and oh, already one slips the net. Borup draws blood. Navira, power position on the boost, manages to take one before he evades the most of the spray. Cadian's planting, can't be knocked off. Out of nades, heroic. Got nothing to defend with here. RPK's got plenty. Just to get his in towards new box, but they're actually both pool. I wonder if as the smoke fades, he changes his mind. Nico from banana. This is a four-man setup for the retake. And they go as the smoke fades. Drop one banana. Nico plays ahead of it. RPK lines up the molly. There's three of them pushing him. And they're swinging around. They're all CT apart from Stown, and it's enough. A great crossfire. Oh, good shooting from Misuta. The two newcomers left to clutch up. Cadian can do it. Swing oh, wildly. Needs a bullet. It. Misuta's holding, and he gets it. In the smoke. No bullets. Cadian red-faced. And Misuta clutching up alongside Navira. Oh, boy. What a play that was from Heroic. Pushing spawn, knowing that, that cool, they didn't yeah. have any nades. And, they had and to the take fact the round. Three of them are wrapping as... They have Stown baiting for the people that would punish that very push. Very cool setup. I can't believe Vitality actually come out on top of that. That's insane, just with a diffuser right there. Let's see how this looks from the bird's eye view. Stown, it's like perfectly baited. Navira did very well to oh. win that duel. Masuta with a double, long range with the MP9. And then Katie, you can see just wild spraying. Panics as he doesn't think he's got enough ammo to finish the job. And that fumble cost them. Aggression. Oh, Apex has brought the fight to them on second middle. Getting away without a single scar on his body either. Vitality Has Navira's is health gone? Flexible. Oof. At uh, Molotov, he overstays his welcome, costs him 80% of his health. All right, heroic here. Now that they're down a man, they've copped a bit of aggression. It's been very, very slow rounds. Now the fight coming to them, but they still want to head towards this A bomb site. Utility to do so. One smoke, a bunch of flashes. We'll need to put their body on the line. If they go arch side, Navira's AWP will punish. Might have to be up through quad, dealing with the tank. He's in towards pit. Tank. Tested, down, found, more to come. Oh, and the vision's restored as the massacre takes place. RPK just unloads onto three of them. Immovable object. Can't touch him. 4-1 now. Heroic. They can buy. The guns are going to come back out. Does Kadian want to pull out the AWP to go head-to-head -head with Navira here? Yet to purchase. We'll have enough for it, and he will go for it. So the AWP head armor, we might get a head-to-head help -head jewel here. Things are looking good for Vitality now, starting to build a little bit of a bank. Masuta up to 8.6k, and that's after buying. He's still operating with a Galil. That's those SMG frags, dude. They really worked out well for him. He got three of them in the round prior.
Hmm, deep battle for Banana. And it does seem like this late utility is going to enable Vitality to win it out. They force the smoke out as well. Heroic only have two smoke grenades. Yeah. Very early into this half. Had to put out that molly uh, quite deep. Round, yeah. yeah, so that means that Banana Control can be completely taken here. Didn't want to overstay their welcome either. Falling back onto the site, turtling up. This is where Apex can start to leave Zywo on his lonesome. If they feel pressure to A, Apex can play in flux, flashed over. Nobody home. Deep smoke as well. Trying to punish every trick in the book coming out from both sides here. Zywo wants to pick again. That smoke is going to fade shortly. That's not enough pressure. Navira still has all the information. They can stay in a 2-3 formation right now. Rotating back towards B. Apex can drop this smoke. We got 40 seconds left on the clock. Heroic setting up the B execute. Ready to hit the site. Smokes go over. This is a full commit. Bombs towards the front of the pack here. I like the flash. He's going to try and push on that. And he has isolated Stout. Good spray. Apex. Zywoo's found all three. Four. He could even ace it. Does need a fresh mag to do so. Cadence pushing through. And that's all Zywoo. Five for the star of the Vitality show. And he makes that one frag he came in with look like nothing. A single man bests an entire squad. Heroic back to the drawing board and back to potential half by. Apex was there to soften him up, but it was all Zywoo. Look at that. An absolute massacre of the B take. He barely sees any of the frags he actually gets. It's a huge round. That is a huge round. They are so fired up right now. Apex willing them forward here. He is. I, I can't help but, but feel he is. He's leading by not only example, but through motivation, through testosterone. He wants to get his boys fired. And speaking of fire, the flames have been extinguished. Oh. Apex cop in a bit of damage, but the frags all favor them. Navira has managed to fire off a shot onto one. And the nades really hurt. God, Heroic is starting to feel a little shaken. This is perfect from Vitality. When they need to hold on to the utility they have, when they need to expend it, they have. Navira even went aggressive out the window to find a kill towards second mid. They are playing some and inspired Counter-Strike And here. he's not only that, he's dropped the orb to Apex so that he, with his full health, can continue to be a threat. He's rotated to B with full health to back up the tagged up Zywoo. It's all calculated. It's all part of their plan. And so far, a plan that's been executed to perfection. Rogue made to feel pretty lifeless in this armored pistol round. And there's a lot of waiting now. Because Heroic, they, their opportunity dwindles. They've got three split up nicely on the A site. Cadian, with the bomb on his back, is hoping to find a little summit summit. He's got 17 HP for this. And Zywoo's already taken down the Inquisitive Stown. There's more. Yeah, let him have the jewels one at a time here. This one's done for Heroic. There's no way in. Zywu baiting into Navira. He can swing at any moment. As soon as he takes any pressure, Zywu hides. Navira swings and they win the round. Or Zywu just kills them all either way. It's going to be the sixth on the board for Vitality here. And Burrow under pressure, but he's dead. And there it is. Great stuff for Zywu. In the last two rounds, he's managed to get himself nine kills. I wish you guys could see the face Chad pulled when he said that. <laughs> In the last two rounds, he's picked up nine kills. Just nine. Just nine. Just nine easy. You no, know, uh, one short of the max. Yeah. Well, uh, at this juncture of the game, I think Heroic are under the pump for sure. They are being pressured across, and Vitaly, they're not taking any risks again. You could see after those opening exchanges, they dropped back on both sides, playing the number advantage. They had nice little trade setups. They were baiting each other in. Wait, is Navira going for something aggressive on the AWP again? He's peeking down middle. That flashbang's enough to deter him. Good deep molly. Look how much space Zywoo's taken. This is a change up. And they're leaving him. Look at this. Apex has already rotated away. Zywu tucked all the way in bottom oh. of Banana, leaving him alone. Four players, four to five. He hasn't even dropped defense. his smoke, Chad. He hasn't thrown any util. He's got Banana info and a chance to defend it with his smokes and mollies. They can stack four players on A with confidence here. Those flashes from Stown mean nothing. And a crossfire in Apps has already found them a first frag. They're starting their wrap. It could be long. Apex is responsible. He's filled that gap. They're going to be back in time. Look at this. Number advantage. Tuck back. Good and shooting. Apex wins one. Oh, and then Navira peeks in. It's punishing. Stown has no idea. Oh, he wants to bait the bomb back. Yep. This is perfect. Yep. He's let them go. And See now he'll take the bomb carrier as he signs lines up his nade. Zywoo has won them the round. Everyone from Vitality doing their part. Trajectory of the nade implies Stown's not too far. Bomb's in Zywoo's grasp. He's even dropped a smoke on it. Stown's got no options here. What are you going to do? You just can't play Counter-Strike. 
This is ridiculous. Vitality are playing some of the best Counter-Strike I think I've seen them ever play. This is a team that have feel like they've been robbed of a couple of grand finals by a team called Heroic. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> they got so much to prove. They could have two trophies in their cabinet had Heroic not bested them in two grand finals this year. Clean, all five alive. Seven to one is the scoreline now. Max lost bonus, but Heroic didn't get the bomb down. They can buy, it's not gonna be great. It's not gonna be fun. This is fantastic. I'm loving what I'm seeing here out of Vitality. They are really taking it to Heroic. You have three players with only two frags, Tesla, Sneak, and Burrup. Only two kills to their name. It's down three. Kadian's got the most with five kills. They won the pistol. Nevera bounced back, beating them on the force buy. And now it's just one way traffic. Of course, Heroic take a timeout. They have a lot to discuss. They need to work out how to get fired up, how to get activated in this game. Vitality haven't figured out. They have every single solution in the book. Vera's shown an indication round after round to be taking that aggressive <laughs> mid-peak. You know how we set that scene for how much pressure Navera would be under? I honestly don't think any of that's crossed his mind. Not at all. Not at all. I do truly believe he's so invested into the system that all he's thinking about is that Inferno stuff we worked on. And he's coming to this and he's doing that Inferno stuff we worked on and it stopped there. This dude has not shown any signs of fear or fret or the consequences of his actions, uh, influencing his actions, we haven't seen it. Not at all. Nevera jumps across middle, taking chances against Deagles. He has not been punished. And oh no, Stown's gonna get slapped for his transgressions. He tries to walk through the smoke. Apex has dealt with him. And again, a trial for Heroic. Half by Deagle, Kevlar vest, a cheeky helmet or two. Nevera realizes he doesn't have to overcommit. He'll tuck into the tight line, one that favors him. They haven't got info on B, so you can see that there is a small window where these CTs could be caught out, and Nevera is part and parcel of this. Oh, the wrap. Apex swinging around. He's been caught off guard, but he's handled it with class. Oh, look how easy it is. They're just taking it in turns for aces, I guess. Oh, this is smelling like overpass. Back there, they weren't getting any opening kills. They were just getting destroyed all across the map. And once again, opening frags, they're fleeting for Heroic. They have one. In nine rounds of Counter-Strike, they've only managed one opening kill, and that was Bora. I don't even yeah, remember it. I mean, in terms of individual duels, I think if we bring up the round recap, while Apex celebrates his round win already, see if Kadian can find anything against this. Nope, is the answer. But the round recap will tell the story. You have got two frags on Tessas, two on Nico, two on Borup, and your real high flyer for the heroic side so far is five for Kadian. When you have three players, Nevera, Apex, and Zywa all close to the double digits, all better than already in this juncture of the game, just how clean they're keeping it. They're not giving away many deaths whatsoever. This knife round, Chad, you know how you said it could determine the whole situation? Yeah. Well, getting that CT start could not have been any more perfect for Vitality. He's getting his fist bumps in. Got the gaming ponytail, the Mun. Those two incendiaries pr practically nullify each other. They've even dropped a third. Good grief. Doesn't quite hit the mark. They've dropped so much util here. Very early into the piece. Cadian is taking a chance. This I imagine so much he's trouble exposed here. here. Yeah. Masuta likely cognizant as to their location. There is utility on RPK. He smoked out. Oh, Cadian's hunting. An AWP in the apartments, a clear call to be made as he fires off a shot. They look to regroup. Zaiwu making it very clear, he's jumping for info. I wonder if Stan will be able to do anything about that. Ooh, he's trying to run him down. Zaiwu's gotten away. Oh, Ooh, the come smoke. on. He slaps down Borup. It feels unfair. He's caught him again. They had the advantage, they caught him out of position. Stan was a surprise, but still he gets away and gets a frag. They're now not... back into the A stack. They're going to re-aggress on middle here. They Look have three this. players locking them in. Anti-flash RPK. Barrel spotted. Orps looking quad side. Stown's already met Navira. Hiroki getting picked apart, pulled apart limb from limb. Wild horse is charging in opposite directions. Only Nico. Bomb retrieval. Smoke deployed in order to do so. A flash as well. Navira's suppressing shots don't connect. Nico scoops up the bomb. Back through the apartments. I always made no secret of his presence. Um, yeah. No 
<laughs> he must have caught a leg there on the way out, boiler or something. Otherwise, Zaiwu is just on another dimension right no, now. No, I mean, it's it, it doesn't even feel fair. I've got an advantage now. I can hear you coming. Jesus. All right. Well, heroic. we got max money, Chad. They're actually struggling to spend it. Buy a pistol, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. They've only planted the bomb twice. Buy so some nades, Navira. Do yourself a favor. They're not getting that extra cash influx, heroic, so they can't stay threatening. They're not even getting sight access to get away with this. These rounds are basically clean. They're picture perfect from Vitality time and time again. They must have been... It feels like this is preparation of a lifetime coming into this game. Yeah, I mean, truly, this is a team that have been hard at work. Zaiwu has full banana control. They just smoked him offshore. That's fine. Nevera will keep mid control. So one piece of the puzzle always under the remit of vitality. Yeah, and it means that they've always had the right pieces in the right place. You just feel like you're executing into a brutal blue wall of bullets. You want to go for the apps pop? I can tell you that now. Kadian's got the smoke and he's got the flash and he plans to set his team up for success. But as soon as he does that, the suitor tries to deny with a deep Molotov. Doesn't quite work out. That'll keep you on your toes, though. Is Does that mean we've got balcony presence? I don't want to be pushing through the Lurk smoke with that being the state of affairs. He has actually Thank found you. one. Nico slipped the net. It's adjusting now. Bomb drop. Borup's there. Anti-flash, but dropped on his teammate's head. Oh, my Lord. Missed shot from Navira. It's oh. getting very messy. Heroic on pursuit of their second. This chaos for the first time has made Vitality look human. The wildest of sprays from Apex isn't too far off the mark. Zywoo and Apex to retake. This is only their third smoke plan. off pit. And they're not going to save with 15k. Surely he's just faking the steps there. Vitality have had them at every turn. He's going for apps. Maybe trying to catch them just with a very late timing on this retake. If he can find Cadian. Trade. Oh, it's not quite there. Just looking for damage now, Apex. I get one. Oh, never to be. Kadian finishes him off. Three for Kadian in the Ooh. round, continuing to lead the charge. Nine kills now. Oh, they're having to work hard for this. I thought Vitality had a great crossfire there as everybody was trying to help out Masuda, but at one moment, all three frags came in instantly. Burrow gets that two. one. So that's it. That yeah. was the, the double kill. There was a lot of attention drawn towards halls. Nobody was watching that sight cross. As simple as that. But still, I, I'm not looking for too many options in the heroic camp. That that was one that they had to work very hard for. It's I mean, you pistols. can't say do that again. They've won both rounds is the pistol round and a round with pistols. That's all they've had success on so far. That is only their third plant so far in this oh, game. Oh, stats pointing towards a full weapon round falling flat. Let's see if they can change that. Oh, Masuta, Molotov, and flashed off the line. They get a lot of mid control. This is a great setup. Look at this, Masuta's alone. He's on the island. We haven't seen this before. And he's just going to play passive. He's going to let them into the site. I say that. He's already revealed his location and Borup's punished. The dink exchange, the drop, the deep oh. smoke caught just before the smoke blooms. RPK finds the equalizer. Bomb yet to be planted. Apex is working on an early apps presence. Hanging Press around. Coming from Arch. If Apex finds Tessus, they might go for this. Nice. Tessus wins the duel. Heroic have found change of pace that does favor them and it does seem like the save will be called heroic this is the first weapon round we've seen them win and it took them 12 rounds to get here they can salvage this half a nine six yep, on the nose they're well and truly back in it that's going to fire them up just considering how clean vitality kept those rounds but continuing to play that percentage counter strike vitality going to hold on to their guns just leave got that the island around. there can i can i skybox that is can you uh, is that a bit to too much it up yeah, they did the four man b lean but, off the bat there exactly and it just was such a quick pace to it that there was no no, no real reason rhyme or reason so you can see here the Rotate. four man b lean looking for some banana control with this yep and then you can see the pace look at the air smoke's already flying through the air we're back over towards a up second mid. Molly, Molly to flash. He has to go back. He He's can blind the make whole a time. He has no info. He can't even hear the steps. And by the time that smoke is blooming on Arch and Library. They're just ready to heading back now. Yeah, yeah, you've got no chance. What a lovely take from Heroic. Okay, thanks for that, Chad. That was quick and efficient. All right, well, Vitality. Is this going to be a 12-3 half or Heroic going to battle back and continue this form? Another gun round integral here would be their second. No change up this time, just the standard hold. Oh, Nevera's at B with the AWP, so that is a little bit of a mix-up. That means they won't have the AWP over towards A with the presence. Apex drops that now. It's going to do a, a lick of damage. If he drops it in a couple seconds' time, it could be perfect. The Execute comes out. Nade to follow. It's good. Boom! Great damage. Apex is down, though. Tessus winning in crucial duel. Masuta with a lot to do. He's got... RPK alongside for the rise. Swings out on the edge of the smoke. Good spray. 
Nico, though, wasn't expecting a second. He jumped straight onto RPK. Kadian trying to level the odds with only an AWP. It's not ideal. Nevera makes the call, makes the shot, misses it. Oh! The flames, Nevera stands his ground and finds another. Now down onto a 1v2. He's got a minute and the bomb. Players from either side, and it's only Zaiwu and RPK. Wow. He's not having any of that. No funny business from him. Can't quite find the AK. There it is, just in the nick of time. <sighs> Vitality the secure their 10th. Nevera just standing his ground in the flames was enough to win that 2v2. Let's see how this one goes down. So Masuta does really well. He knows he's trying to bait RPK in, so he stands and takes the swing, which leads RPK into that. It's a quick adjustment because what Heroic are trying to do is smoke off the AWP and keep Nevera in transition. Well, they got the same result with Apex there, but the double pit adjustment, that was huge. That was everything. <laughs> that was really cheeky. And Masuta took a really nice initiative in swinging on that smoke. You can say mini pit clear or pit dead. Comes down to execution at that point. Ooh, Loves the flames, he doesn't he? Does Cadian down again to 30. Nevira's actually using this gap. And he could be exploited, but it's Saiwu baiting in and off the orb shot. Tucked in on sandbags, they can retreat comfortably. This spells trouble for Heroic. Not only have they lost down, who has been struggling on this T side, but Cadian's operating with just 30. They can park Saiwu. Always in transition. Like Apex is being able to stay flexible as that in-game leader. 16 and 4, boys. Nevera's making a perfect justification statement for his integration into the six-man roster here. They're setting up for another A execute, so smokes go out again. This time, close arch, up quad. They have mid control, and this is where they get the name the Fakey Boys, because they're always back and forth across the map, but is there any intention towards A? Another smoke towards arch, this time one towards Modo, flashes. It is going to be the A piece. Vera charging through the smoke. Masuta down. They're trying to double up again. Previously it's worked and it works again. RPK gets two. He wants to hunt down the AWP. He can't do it, but Apex can oh. and he gets them both. Oh, wow. Another valiant attempt from Heroic, finding some of the opening frags they needed, but they're sent straight back to the Shadow Realm. Apex with a double kill. Definitely the impact player there. They knew it was RPK, but he still manages to get two of them on the push. And then Apex does exactly the same treatment right back through the barrel, not on a common wall bang. Woo! Energy's high. Of course, in the Vitality camp, when you're sitting on 11 rounds, I don't blame you for having a smile on your face. If they can make it 12 as well, that really is digging the grave for Heroic. He hasn't backed down for going for that mid-info at all, Nefira. He's done it round after round. Now it's just the regular formation for the last round of the first half. Surely not another opening deaths down, please. Age comes after the spray. Gets away. Tucked in on the half wall now. They want to flash an aggress. Down's been waiting for this. Finally gets the duel traded. But Tessus keeps heroic with an advantage. If they were to explode on B, it's wide open. Suta could be caught by Nico here. The late apps lurk as the smokes on B do bloom. Vera won't be able to confirm it. RPK is pushing down middle and oh, Borob with the bomb actually wins the duel. They confirm that the bomb is not heard this. to be. Oh, he can't see the head. Oh, Rogue could throw this. That frag. Oh no, quickly traded. Nico can stabilize now. They have only got to deal with Navira. But which bomb site do they choose? He's an AORPA. Tess is investigating and he's been found. Navira knows that will incite them towards the A site. Cadian charging over there. Navira. He's got 5,900, Zai with 14k, so maybe he fancies himself a little 1v2 action. This would be a sum clutch. He's actually gone straight for the AK, and he's walking in with a real lackadaisical attitude. If he gets himself on Graveyard... Oh my god, no. Yeah. Oh, trigger discipline as oh well. Oh my god. He's starting to check the pit, Navira's about to blow! Oh. Nico denies it. Important frag. Just four for Heroic. Navira has definitely turned heads and popped some. Let's see if Vitality can find the five elusive rounds that separate them from a semi final here at IEM Beijing.
You have to fight again, so take one step, take another. Find the strength for your brothers. Vitality hold eleven. Very close to the 16 they need to send Heroic home and to strike just a little bit of revenge and it's through their own sheer preparation and execution that they've managed to find themselves and manufacture themselves an 11 to 4 lead in this third map. Navira, sixth man, arrives in the server and makes sure everyone is aware that he is here and he ain't shocks. 17 and 6, playing it differently. This Inferno looking very potent. You can see how the odds have swung around Vitality now favored by a considerable margin by GG.bet. And a whole lot of CT utility here. Yeah, three investments right now. It's going to be two HEs. There's no kid in play. Keep that in mind as Kadian takes space with this CZ75. Lots of room over towards Boiler and Halls right now as they search. So I was the man they have to deal with. He is very passive right now. They are aware of a heroic push. You don't normally look that passive if you're just expecting a standard round of Counter-Strike. Navera's going to pick up that bomb. They're working with two smokes, two flashes, and a Molotov. Lots of different options right now. I need to be careful. I'm concerned that... Uh-oh. Navera's taking that bomb a very, very solo route. There's a universe where he loses it to Cadian, And that universe is the one we live in. Bomb spotted. And a big charge up middle. Trying to catch Nico. They have gooshed him down to three. And trying to pick up that bomb. Is it worth defending this, Cadian? You see, Ian, a flash, gobbled it up for breakfast. But now the bomb's retrieved. Nico catching a goosh from RPK. Puts him on notice. And they're returning to B. Nivera's going to be kicking himself for that one. Not a fun death. And now they'll have to run through a smoke. Drop that smoke bar up. 30 seconds left. That's his cue. Happy to. And Stown's caught one through the smoke already. They continue their advance. RPK through. Double nades for the plant. They do have them both. They prepare them. It's a diff. Oh, no. It's a perfect plan for the nades. Goodbye, RPK. Signed. Sealed. Bomb plant delivered. Zywoo's so still alive here. One yeah. on five. Uh, no armor. 1v5. Let's see it, Zywoo. Show us who you really are. Getting pushed. Multiple targets. Can't stabilize. And so Heroic take themselves a pistol and take themselves a convincing pistol as well. That plant's a bit of a worry here because Vitality, they won the force by back in the first half. Heroic, they started off Inferno looking so good. They survived against Navira. He was in a clutch situation. They convert from there. It spiraled well and truly out of control. There was nine rounds on the trot from Vitality off the back of that force by win. And now they're going in again. They've got the rounds to work with RPK into a Galil. 
Couple of tech, uh, so one tech nine in play, a couple of Mac tens, a deagle for Navira. No Molotovs to work with here, but plenty of nades behind it. Smokes, flashes, one HE. We saw how this worked out on Nuke. Vitality continued to buy. Tassus with some good early info. Going to drop a HE. Oof, Masuda, he's been rattled. Yeah, and he's going to keep pushing though. And Nico trying to stabilize his aim. He takes a lot of damage. They've got enough players here to deal with this. Tess is not going to get checked on the site. RPK meets the MP9. Big stuff from the Danes as they weather this force by. I say that as Apex and Navira oh. actually fill the feed. Maybe a bomb plant could happen here. It doesn't look like it, though. Borup stops that from happening. And now, disaster strikes. Navira. Isolated and the scout holding oh his position. God. Good warning shot. Damn. That'll deter Cadian. But they are holding his every exit. He's actually found Bora. <laughs> Bit of a surprise as he turned the corner. It was a moment. It was. There's an M4. Oh, he didn't quite grab it. So they don't upgrade their weapons as much as they dreamed. It is the scout at least upgraded for a FAMAS. Cadian happy with that. And the team Vitality not only don't get the plant, but don't succeed in their force. This will close the gap, Chad. Yeah, they could grab the Deagles if they like to continue to be threatening. Maybe P250s with light utility here. But going into the next round, which will be the gun round, they can have everything that they like. Almost a completely conservative approach as they leave spawn, they limp in, couple deagles. There's going to be a P250 for Masuda as well. Utility down middle. So weathering the storm again for Heroic and they need to start building a bit of a CT bank, but Nevera with a showstopper right there. Borup gets sat down. Well, they tried pushing Banana. Nevera seems to think otherwise. Damn, what a shot. Now we're talking. Deep Smoke pulled out of down. This just becomes possible. I know it's just pistols with no armor behind it, no utility either, but they're operating with a number advantage. If they're able to trade off of another and turn this into a three on four situation. We start talking about saves. Yeah, and things get really rocky for Heroic. They've just left one man at Stown over towards B. He's got a smoke and a flash and an M4, but he's just given up banana control. There's no mid info right now from Heroic and still a minute to work with. I wonder if they're going to disrespect Stown here. He hears them. He drops his smoke. That's all they needed, though. There we go. A couple of steps is all it takes. And it's drawn the rotation, so right now it's a 2-2. Two -two. Things are actually looking very good for Vitality here. Heroic should have the advantage in every aim duel they take. I'll remind you there's no armor. That one-man advantage found from a great Deagle headshot. Nate Navira pulled out of the bag. RPK taking a lot of liberties. Stan takes a little jiggle, confirms it. Okay, well, that's clear, but Arch has been given up. And they walk themselves up long. Nico will be checking it from Pit. Kaden wants info. He meets the suit up, but there's more where that came from now. Another frag. We're actually into a 3v3. They should be at a plant. They should. And they're setting up their after plant. Kadian punishes as he tries to leap into Pit. Navira not going to be happy with that, but a FAMAS. Perhaps a chance. Kadian was short. Two coming from long. Doesn't look good. Only one then. Zaiwu. They can get onto the bomb. They can defuse. They can do it all. He's trying to take some pot shots, but well handled. That's a Cadian round right there. And he's been having uh, the most impact out of anyone on Heroic. And by a large margin, if I bring up the scoreboard, I will back my point up with numbers. 14 for Cadian. Crucial frags there as well. Just watching that one potentially spiral out of control. <sighs> Haven't been able to keep these clean at all, Heroic. The fact the bomb goes down again, there's a couple of deaths. It is 3-0 to kick off the second half here, and they have made an 11-4 scoreline now look respectable, but the guns come out. Nevera continues to hit some big shots. It's going to be 5 AK-47s, all the utility they'd like. Heroic have upgraded the AWP into Cadian's hands. They're looking good for the buy as well. Heroic are the ones who need rounds. They need to mount... Bit of a CT defense here and over towards Banana. RPK leading the way. Molotov towards the tops down. Not to be tested. Quite the passive start. Actually set Cadian up for success here. Soloing towards B. They're going to have a four-man presence over towards A. Once down gets a move on. And they're playing close mid. Ready to lock this one down before it gets out of control. But similar to how Heroic started their first gun round. Slow pace from Vitality. Just seeing what they're up against. Crowd control utility towards the top. And they've got car control. RPK will have to dip back, but once the molly subsides... Wait, Kedian's pushing forward. He's on his own. He oh. needs to be very careful about these fights. Yeah, you can see he actually second-guessed himself there. Didn't want to give another opening frag. Especially because of his impact in closing these rounds previously. Oh, it's a perfect flashbang for that close angle. Gets forced off it. 
And then on the repeat, come from an elevated position, they find him. That was a solo B or profound. It's down, does not want to make any sound. So he, as they, oh my God, they're dropping so much util here. That's two CT smokes. Surely that's a full commit. The bomb's gone in. This might just be heroic save. Might have to be. Oh no, this is not the start heroic needed on the gun rounds. The bomb will go down. They're rotating over. They're having a look in. They have a lot of utility for this retake. They might go for this. This is about to be a war, especially now Stown's core Masuta on the reposition. We've got a straight up 4v4 and it's going to be a lot of flame on the floor. Nades as well. RPK vulnerable. I've got a sinking feeling here. Vitality are going to get very awkward duels throughout. Or mollies. Zai were over the smoke. He's there saving grace, perhaps. No more frags. All favor the Danes. Trying to deny the plan. His crosshair placement is perfect. And he does hold the spray. Oh! That is colossal. No lineup. Oh! They both line up. Both dead up. Get on it. Get on it. even know. And he's lost the round. He had time. He had the time. I'm done. Heartbreaker for Heroic there. Absolute heartbreaker. He had the time. I can't believe it. He had the time. I haven't seen it. Well, I haven't seen a round loss like that in I haven't seen a round loss like that in forever. Oh, I have to take my heads off to just catch my breath. That is nuts. This was heroics round one through not only this spray, look at them. His crosshair placement, we had the X-ray luxury, but then Borob gets them both and then that legs. Why did no one tell him? Why is no one, Why is no one yelling? Him? No one screams at him. I swear he had the time, he had the kit. They can't believe it. They can't. They couldn't process what just happened. And Bora... Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Oh, well, 12 found for Vitality. That is a mad round. And the 19th of Inferno. I'll remember that one. Cadian's pushing in. He wants to rub salt in the wound, and he's taken initiative, taken Navira's head, and gotten away. That's one way to forget about last round. Oh, I won't. Bora got them both. Didn't even realize. All right. Uh, big opening. Heroic have been struggling with that. Banana control for Stown. He needs to be careful. Has been on the receiving end of a lot of punishment. Flash forward. Same on the other side. Needs to get out of dodge here. Stown's been copying a lot of punishment this game. How much can Kadian do? He's here, there, and everywhere. Was mid, now back towards B. Pushed on down to 26. The pressure continues from Vitality. Look at all the utility they're operating with. They have banana control. They can get mid control. Brackets are given up at this juncture. There's a minute left on the clock. They're not letting their foot off with the pressure. Sean sure, Navera is dead. He went down in the early stages, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> if they execute B, Cadian's low and Stown, he's tucked in close only with an MP9. They have a smoke, but it hasn't dissuaded Vitality so far. No more utility to be sung on over towards that A defense. They're also operating with an MP9. That is their last smoke, Chad. 40 seconds left. Push forward. The madman. <laughs> They're taking the fight to Vitality now. And it's working. This is with the very little they had. Now burnt through. This can still fall over towards B though. It's three versus five. Cadian readies himself. If he hits one more shot, waiting for the timing. Oh, oh, oh. Masuta's taking his head off through the smoke. There is no way. There is a chance. And now Stown's found. Oh, oh no. and another through the smoke. Where are Vitality smokes? Because they are missing. Every shot is hitting. Deep smoke arrives and the round fading away into nothing but a pipe dream. Tess is elevating. Maybe he could find Apex on Newbox, but he's playing such a safe angle. That's two in a row, two heartbreaking rounds. Back to back. There's no way in. They're holding onto an MP9 and a Famous. Tess is just looking to do some damage here. The bomb's half ticked. No flashes, no smokes. There's kits on the floor, but there's no way in. They got two opening picks. Still vitality through brutality, breaking through that site. Where is the safe exit for Zywe, though? That's like a real question. Spawn, I guess, is the only option here. How many contestants take? He wants a gun upgrade. He needs something. Oh. Zywe so just drawing the shot, using that low HP. That's 13. Heroic are broken. Surely. Surely they're broken. How do you come back from this? Look at him just melted through the smoke. Yeah, you guys want to spam? We can spam too. We have the bigger guns. It's down and bar up. You're sitting there on B saying, yeah, it feels like a B commit, and then you're just forced to watch as the rest of the round is over. Yeah, a grimace from Cadian and a sneaky smile from Zaiwu. He knows he's halfway home. Halfway to a semi-final. Vitality complexity would be on the menu. <sighs> round 21, it's just this AK. I, I'm shell-shocked. I don't know how heroic is still those in the game. Two, those two rounds are our heartbreakers. Game winners. They, what can they even do right now? Like, they've been getting outpicked all across the map. 
Spam yeah. through smokes. Just... You want some uh, banana info, but all of the Vitality Squad are still T-Ramp. Oh, Nico. Tested. AK should be recovered. Does Thaunus want to take another peek? Hey, as well, at this stage. Fight fire with fire. Get in their face. Back towards Ace. Just three USPs. They're coming. What are you going to do about it? What can you even say about it? Oh, 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 looks like Borup's uh, USP certainly works. They've actually kept it relatively level. Stown's even got an AK. Maybe there is a chance. Apex denies it, getting away from the USP, but there's a chance for Tessis' taps to do enough. They're so low, 22, 33, oh. respectively. Again, close, but as he massacres more chickens, frustrations at an all-time high, cannot escape neither. 14 found for Vitality. Didn't even have to use their util to lock that one down. They've got plenty of cash. They can drop one over to Zaiwu and the uh, Heroic Squad. Staring down the barrel of three consecutive T rounds as the weapon rounds be commenced. Rivera with a T side AWP. Now, I am intrigued to see how he chooses to apply that. Well, it was aggressive before, right? Oh, we're talking about Nivera, sorry. I'm shocked, Alex. I, I, I'm frazzled right now. There's Let me get rounds. my head in the game. Yeah, no, no worries. All right, no kit, low utility. Heroic are bent out of shape here. They are going to need one of their individuals to step up in a big way. Stown and Nico, I'm looking at you. Like all vitality, oh. all vitality have been doing to avoid early damage is not go banana early. Yeah. That's and now look at the utility Heroic are operating with. Three smokes, one flash, and a Molotov. And we have a minute 25 on the okay. clock. That should be the death of Navira. Wow, the timing could not have been any better. Just as the flash pops, just as Cadian peaks, Navira places his body into that crosshair and with a blind shot, he pulls the trigger onto him. RPK is up banana though. So they've managed to gain that part of the map. I've lost these before. It's just so difficult to see how heroic stay in this. Cadian needs to just hit more shots with the AWP. That's only the only way they can dissuade them. Back over to banana with all three. Looks like it is another finish for the B-bomb site. Zywoo's coming now too. Previously gets flashed on this. If they do it dry, this is Cadian's chance to truly win the round. There it goes. They're charging though. Taking the space. Respect the smoke. RP Case was charging in and he is vulnerable. Sprayed down. Stown does not miss. And problem solved. Round one, eight for heroic. Zaiwu trying to do some economical damage and he does line two of them up. Oh dear. Finally, it finishes, but it does cost more than heroic wanted to accept. I'll recover an AWP all the same. Yeah, lucky. That was down towards T-Stairs, I do believe, because Cadian's was all the way back at New Box. So <laughs> lucky Navira had one because Cadian has been instrumental in finding the very few openings that Heroic are currently working with. The in-game leader of Heroic is working overtime right now. 14 to 8 is the scoreline. This is going to be quite the comeback. Vitality just down to pistols again. I say just pistols. It doesn't even seem to matter what they're operating with. Always able to stay relatively threatening, getting that bomb down time and time again. The pressure applied. And look at this, aggression. Heroic backs against the wall, they decide to fight. Get the mojo flowing. Reminds Town that he can win these aim jewels cleanly if he takes them. Gadian suspects it to be. It's just charged off the A site and got into a more rotation friendly position. So Borup's the one to call. He throws the flash. Tessus releases the smoke, and they're supposed to be flashed and held at bay. I'm so scared at every moment of this. Yeah, you're on tender hooks here. Smoke baited out. Nade. Right. <laughs> Blows RPK's health bar up. They need some clean ones here, Heroic, just to build a bit of a bank. They're operating with only a two-round buffer. If they lose those, it's all over. Good night. And the thing is, if they're going to continue to stay aggressive in those early rounds against the gun rounds of Vitality, they need extra cash because these are going to be close. These are going to be tight rounds time and time again. So a clean anti-eco. That's a must. It's a must. That's the bare minimum. Up long. Cadian gets a shooting gallery. Oh, missing his shot gives Stowns a chance to collect a double of his own. And there we have it. They do have a perfect anti-eco. Not a single point of damage inflicted. Time for the first Vitality timeout. That was really quite strange. It was Tessus over towards the B site with Bo up then. So it feels like just jigging some things around here, Heroic. Throwing a lot of different looks at them. And the fact that this is the first Vitality timeout in this game says a lot. Says a lot. Hedian 
hit that 20 frag mark now, and we need Nico to come online. He is the pit player. He's going to be very important. And the fact that there's a smile on the face, maybe there's still a bit of belief in that heroic camp. 14 to 9. What a scoreline. Zai with 22, 20 for Nevera, 18 for Apex. He's having a bit of a game of it here. Seven assists, oof. Back away we go. Three man banana lean from Heroic here. And no, 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 no. Stown has just been knifed in the back. That is not the way to kick off a very important round here. And against the Galil and a P250 as well. Kadian takes early damage as well. Okay, no helmet for Borup. Down, down, even further to 31. Bar PK's burning significantly. We'll have to cancel his plans, his nades and mollies are thrown. Bullets as well. Stown taking a risk here with his HP. The thing is, if the chips are down and Vitality need a way out, they have so many rounds. And we have the Zywu special throwing up banana nice and fast with an AWP. It's a classic move. It's one that's won Vitality games before in the past. And if they just set up for a B execute, it's been so difficult to defend. They just get locked out. Kadian's not here to bail them out with the AWP this time. It's down on low HP. It's bow up almost at half HP. They're operating with two smokes. There's no mollies. There's no nades. The rotation is miles away as well. Yeah, they are so miles away. So honed into A. The smoke is thrown. Second orange boost. Makes sense. It's a headshot angle now for Stown. Be able to uncrouch and just shoot those heads as they walk along that contact wall. Here they go. This is the swing. RPK is such low HP. If you late flash. Damage, super late flash. Borup. Oh, it's magical. Stown and him have managed to make it a two versus three. There is now a man disadvantage for Vitality to overcome. But the bomb is down and Zywu, does he count for two? We'll find out. He takes the duel. Tessus wins it. Awkward now. Navira doesn't have the health for this. Neither does Tessus anymore, He's tagged up. Nevera desperate for Tessus, they're charging in, taking space. Does win the duel. He'd be on for an ace clutch here, Nevera. Oh, okay, keeping it close, keeping us on the very edge of our seats. He actually hits it. Just Nico trading effectively, putting the 10th on the board. Damn, Nevera nearly picking that up, four kills for the Belgian bulldozer. There's such a contrast between these two halves. Heroic couldn't get into bomb sites. Vitality are getting in round after round and that money, it continues to give them these threatening positions to be in. They can half buy again. Pistols are purchased in, armor behind it, utility looking good. Heroic survive with one man. They have to invest heavily, four reinvestments. And they can't waver, they need to continue. There's no chance to give away another gimme. That's 15 for Vitality if they do. I still got goosebumps when I think about that ridiculous smoke spray and double spray and the game continues. It is full util. The French clearly prioritizing that on these uh, half buys. 2k invested. It's down to actually just jiggling on the edge of the smoke to get that info for free. <sighs> Heroic have historically bested vitality. The last two head-to-heads, one even a best of five final, which went 3-2. They played all five maps. These Good guys night. are inseparable. Stown has done significant damage to deter the B-take, and that's just through a nade and a spray. RPK eliminated. Stown motivated. Borup rotates in. They will have a two-man defense of this. The same setup they had before. Stown throws the smoke. Borup throws the flash, gets the info from Coffins. And the French are going for it. The B finish, testing them again. Can you do what you did? Oh, it seems down can. He unloads nicely. The flashes don't catch him. He adjusts. He's had no issues. Oh, even the USP. And he knows Nevera's there. There's down. An ace. an ace delivered. A massacre on the B site against just the Tech Nines. That is important. Heroic. Forcing another timeout after finding four consecutive rounds. Vitality, their T side has not been posting the rounds as consistently as they may have expected. Held at bay by the Danish roster. Down. This was very, very clean. Let's been finding the final frag through the smoke. Let's flip the script a little bit. So we were talking about the round that Heroic lost, the ones that they flubbed, the ones that Vitality took away from them. The fact that Borup didn't defuse, the fact that on a retake situation, a three on five, I believe it was, spamming multiple members through the smoke. How many times can you replicate that? Because the options, the closer Heroic gets, Seem further and further away for Vitality. It's like, oh, we got, he should have defused. We would have lost that round. Oh, we got lucky with smoke spam. Where are our solutions?
You can't let it get too close here, Vitality, or doubt might creep in. Right, I see what you're saying. In terms of replicating what worked, there is no grounds for what worked. It's all just been, as you highlight, through smokes, fortunate jewels. It's a gamble here, Heroic doing that four-man lean. They are, and there is quite a lot of fast presence towards second middle. Nico's alone. He's trying to dump some util to slow them. <laughs> More chip damage, that's not bad. So he postured forward to show that there was intent to lock down Boiler and Halls, and now he's just gone all the way back towards Pit. The rotations come in, it's a four-man oh, swing back towards A. It's so dynamic. Kind of like it. Does mean that Vitality have got to be left guessing now to find the answers to themselves. Oh, oh no, that's a big miss from Cadian. Could spell trouble. Stown is charging as fast as he can to rotate. Borup to Tessa's Lean's library. There's so much time for this mid round here, though. There's over a minute left on the clock. They have full banana control. They're yet to get brackets, but that can come in any second. Bomb to be picked up, and now with the number advantage, Vitality can play with heroic. Okay. And once again, leaning back off B as this mid control is taken, but RPK and Apex are posturing for more on Banana. Stown only has a flash to defend with here. They have brackets control and banana control. Yes, this is a dream. Yeah, he needs info and he's going for it off the flash. Boom. What? Masuta didn't get flash. Now Tess is vulnerable. He only spotted one. Good info though. They know brackets is taken. They know they're under pressure right now. Nico still has the smoke. B smoke. A full commitment of They can't player. rotate even if they wanted to. Borup's gonna have a look long though. Stown's burning out and that's a frag onto the A site. They start to wrap bomb spotted. They're coming in A. They can defend this. They can. It's a good crossfire. Nico's have already caught one. They're not ready for it. They just assume it's clear. They think they sold it. Masuta needs another. And he's oh. delivered it. What a brilliant play from the rookie. In pursuit of a plant with one second to spare, he knocked Nico on his ass. Now only Stown. Does he check his far right? I don't think he will. No. Nope. And so 15 has found the war of attrition won. Vitality break their silence in round 26. Suta gets the credit and 100% deserves it. Oh, there were two big kills right there. You could see jumping into the site. They weren't aware of the hold they were dealing with. And this is the opening death. Nevera onto Kadian. Kadian's been doing a great job on the openings oh, on the CT side. Suta saving them. I mean, they can't do that again either. Well, this is the thing, right? You're giving up an opening death there on Kadian, but he's made all the right plays. He is a big reason that Heroic are even in this. So he can't back down from moments like that. No, you have to keep it going. Keep that mojo flowing. Down and Borup, this B defense that's been constantly tested by the French. Flashing for info. Oh, Stown's jumped for it and he loses a lot of health. He's pinned. Oh, they've let him get out. All right, bit of breathing room right now. God, it's so back and forth, to and fro. Oof, just some bullets holding them at bay here. Utility towards top mid. Nico's postured forward. They'll have early info. They're going to be able to rotate B quite quickly here. Smoke half wall. They're going to do the retake util. It's only RPK on yeah, that side coming. of the smoke. And he's actually just waiting for the push. Oh, well, he doesn't have info now. That's a T smoke that puts out the molly. I don't know how I feel about that. Now oh, a new rotate has arrived. It's going to be 3v5 on B right here. Unless Borup rotates. Coming in, Borup. Here they come. Oh, it's down. He already got 14 bullets. Makes good use of them. Finds a double. Tessus has done the same. It's a massacre. B defense just not working. And now Navira thrown into a 45 second, 15 HP, 1v3. Has the bomb. Could go back towards A. There's nobody there right now. The rotation from Heroic. Everybody's over towards the B bomb site, trying to plug this hole. Kadian's realized he's rotating back. He'll cut Navira off at the pass. But it's about damage right now. They've got the 15. Navira, all he has to do is find another kill. Keep the money in question for Heroic here. 20 seconds left. He needs to die, though, if he was going to Looks continue. like he's saving. Yeah, so I think he's just going to back up the T-Ramp with an M4. <sighs> okay, well, the money situation at this juncture for Vitality should be operating with 2,400, I believe, the loss bonus. So this M4 is worth its weight in gold. They will be able to go for another one of these partial investments, just keeping enough money in that bank balance. So 2,900 in the next. If everybody operates with around 2K left in their bank from Vitality, they will have a full gun round, even if they lose this one. But this was sketchy. It's down with the pre fight nobody running into his bullets, and then still able to combine there with Tessus. So Navera has that M4. He's going to be the hero. They're going to send him forward. Zaiwu onto a Deagle. A little bit of utility to work with as well. Smoke and a flash, but that's it. Heroic, this is for 13. This is to stay in the game. What can 
of era do? It's time to find out. Nico. Dink exchange. Wow, and here is one that duel. Oh, no! He's taken down Kadian. He's open. He is wide open. Tessus is there on long, and he's just picked up an AWP. Zaiwu has a very real chance to punish Borup's rotation hard shot. Now can be punished. Doesn't want to fall to that. And now Borup's needed another. Zaiwu catching so much damage from that with the absence of the armor. Great nade. One frag. But they found two. <sighs> they have an AWP and now two M4s in the mix. They'll even be able to get a couple disaster. of mollies. They can't lose to an eco. There was one saved M4. They can execute B right now. Smoke towards CT. Zywu posts up, covering off the coffin's position. Molotovs Dude, to clear look, out the back of the mad. site. This is exactly what Tessus needs to be doing. He's basically calling... It's called their bluff. A bluff. You could even find Zywu here. There's no way Zywu was expecting this. This is an insane gamble. This is a huge play. Okay. Tessus has called it. It will be the B finish. This is for survival. In the quarterfinal, Heroic are on the ropes. They're battered, they're bruised, they're bloody. Stown throws out the smoke. They start the swing. Already bloodshed. Knock one off the perch, but it's not enough. Only Zywu to clutch. He does try and get that bomb down. Actually fakes it, trying to one deep the Stown. Gets it down. Tessa's full health from Banana. Stown reveals he's still sticking around in CT. And silently repositions to Coffins. <gasps> Tessa's is flank. It's not... There in time, Zywu's disappeared to clutch up. Got a smoke and a kit. Tessus is a bit late though. Still sticking around on Banana. Stown's the one that's going for the info pushes. And he's found him, punishes him. He's even got a Molotov for the bomb. Tessus, you won't be faking anytime soon. Baits out the smoke. Oh, he's got no vision. Tessus is on it. Zywu, what's your memory like? That's the way to finish. Bang, straight through the smoke. And Vitality have done.